Welcome to the next video on the XR Pistol Concealed. So that's the name I'm going with for now. We'll see if that changes later. But this is my tracked object here that uses the pen. And I guess we're going to see our pen overlaid in there for this video since it's awake. So there's been two main focuses I've had. The first one is getting a modular trigger adjustment set up. And so that's what I have here, and we're going to show that nice transparent so you can see what's happening inside of here. And so the trigger has our first stage here, it hits the wall, and then our brake, and then the reset. The other work I've been doing, and I'll take this out just so we can see in there, is magazine state tracking. So that button that is behind the trigger right here, now is tracked as well. So we have this, which feathers our button right there, and we have this, which inside there, you can see right there where that moves, is tracking the state of our magazine. So I'll show you inside of our trigger module now. So you can see inside here, there is a five millimeter ball bearing there that is on a shelf. And so you've got adjustable tension on both these. And I've got that large set screw just so I can adjust while testing easier without having to get an Allen wrench in there. Now this is so-so, but we'll see what we can have. So the first setup that I did, which I'm no longer doing that in here, this was just so I could talk about why I'm not doing this anymore, is I had a nice flat two millimeter steel rod coming up against that ball bearing. The problem is over time, the sharp edge, even though it was great for giving a crisp break, would mar the ball bearing. And so you'd have it, the trigger start seizing up and just behaving badly. So what I did in that one there is I also have a hole here. So you've got a five millimeter ball bearing that goes up against this one. So where this rod comes up like this and it's pushing, this is what handles the free travel, the length of that. So our pre-travel comes up to here, and then I could stop all my pressure here, but you'll see I still have to push with force to overcome the resistance there with that ball bearing. And so when you have that counter pressure that's here, once, whoops, so since I did not have that counter pressure that always would be there, our other bearing had come down a little bit too far, but the tension between both these keeps that from happening so that we have our break and reset there. And so both these are adjustable. So if you want to go really, really light, and I am running a smaller spring in that, this one just lets me push both of them with the hand here. I can go really, really light, like you're going for a race gun trigger, or I can go heavy like a duty pistol. And so now, when I'm working on other designs, I want to put this in the rifle that I'm doing or other hardware later. Instead of having to worry about how I fit all those internals into every new design, I have a module here that I can just drop in. It also means that as I'm doing my testing, I don't have to rebuild this area every single time, and I just have that module that I can drop in. So there is an update on pistol design setup. Next I'm going to be working on slide rack and mag release. And so what I'm going to end up having is in a similar concept to how a real pistol would do this, there's going to be a cantilever here. So when I push down here, it's going to push up on this front button that's right there. So you can see right here where this is located, you're just going to have down and up like this. And then what I'm going to have for activating that from slide rack is the slide that's going to go over top of here with the holes for the lead tracking IR stuff and all that is going to end up pushing on something that's here. So it'll come in and it's going to push on this button like this angled and just make it so you can either slide rack or do the slide release right here. Then the weapon light is going to end up using the tip Initially, the functions for these two I was going to have reversed until I started looking and 
just understanding the internals that it just would be really, really complicated doing slide release with a tip. But when I do it here, the physics of it just work out a lot better. So there are the updates. And again, I'm really just trying to cover all this in detail to help protect this with prior art to make all of this unpatentable. So we can have access to cool training devices. Have a good day. Thanks for joining me.